Good evening, guys. Yeah, there's been a steady stream of people here all day long to visit the shrine and to lay some flowers. Some have told us it is the busiest and biggest celebration of the year, and others say they're even planning to stay here all night long. Well, every year we are coming, everybody. Martin Apanko among thousands gathering today in Displains to see the shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And with all the traffic, it took him a while to get here. It took me one hour and a half from that corner to the other corner. So he's not leaving anytime soon. We stay all night long here. It's a tradition Ulyssa Ochoa and her family keep up as well, come rain, hail or even snow. Three years ago there was even a huge blizzard. Um, and we still came. The two-day event marks the appearance of the Virgin Mary to St. Juan Diego in Mexico City on December 12th, 1531. She appeared to a saint um, in order to build a cathedral for her in Mexico. Millions will also visit that cathedral marking the occasion, but the shrine here sees the largest U.S. gathering annually. We celebrate the 11th until midnight, usually at Mexico, the whole, like the, in Mexico City where her cathedral is built, her church, that's also at midnight where we um, sing the happy birthday song to her. Filled with colorful dances. Uh, we also combine Mesoamerica or Aztec traditions in it. For example, like we do dances or rituals to celebrate the Virgin Mary. And so many flowers. I guess people feel like if you bring her flowers, even if they're just one rose or something like that, um, it's paying uh, patronage to her. Those gathering, making promises to Our Lady. They ask for favors, they ask for blessings for the new year, um, they ask in order for like anything that's trouble in their lives. So that she can watch over all those who visit. It brings a lot of peace to the Hispanic uh, community. And for those like Martin, here for the long haul, bringing some food with him was key, rather than battle that traffic again later for a bite. For sure. Tamales. Tamales? Yes. I'll have to come back. Okay. Tamales. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Now, things are obviously still going strong here, and there's a whole schedule of events happening tomorrow as well. We're going to get those up on our website for you under this story. We're live in Displains, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.